So, okay, while loops. While loops. Yeah, let's start with those. So, a while loop looks like this. Okay, so while, far so good. Sorry, there we go. This is the basic while loop. And right now you can see that's not correct. So, it needs something in there. Mm -hmm. And it needs uh, some sort of statement that's happening. For example, I can say while true. Okay. And then in here I can do, for example, console.log and I can say hello world. So what do you expect happens if I do this? Right now? Mm -hmm. uh, hello world. Okay. Um, let's look at it. I will go into the console. I can with the ls, I can see my folders, uh, if you remember, so I can uh, cd into the TypeScript folder and have my change directory exactly, mm -hmm. and I have my npm run command, and I think I called it run surf if I remember correctly. Or don't we have to? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Nothing happens. Ah, because, uh, because I made the, I didn't save the file. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> there we go. It was still the old code. So if I run it again, then yeah. this happens. Hello world. Yeah. Infinite times. Yes. Because it's true. And while true, and we don't change the, yeah, uh, that's we, right. we, we don't change it to, to, to false. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's a bit of a problem. This will go on forever. That's like prints until my computer runs out of memory or until I. I just want I, to ask, is this how yeah. you can do those, uh, in the early days, uh, to, to crash a server or something like that? Yeah. That's, yeah. uh, something that you always want to avoid getting stuck in a while loop because a way to break out of it in the console is just saying control and C and this just stops whatever is going on here. Mm -hmm. So of course I don't want to print that out an infinite number of times but what I can say if I for example want to print it five times I can have my <clears throat> let's call it i and set it to zero so i in this context would mean index and i could say while my i my index is smaller than five for example i print this so what do you think happens now okay does is i an uh an fixed thing or is it yeah you can call it whatever you whatever. can call it but index you can okay, it's just it. in loops usually a variable like this would be called i that's just how things are it's just what they teach you in university in every boot camp in every crash course yeah. you can do it. that's just how it is so the question i have is something happening with this uh, uh z z five because you say while i is smaller than five which it's right now it is mm-hmm does it count upwards? Yes, that's very good. So I was uh, wondering if you would catch that and you did very well. So right now, because I don't increase the I anywhere. Yeah. So it will, so it always, will, always, be, it will always be, be true. Okay. Right? Yeah. So what I have to do is say but I... Just for me, it, the same thing would happen right now. We had a hello world for Exactly, okay. yeah. That would be an infinite loop. Uh, yeah, so right, I, infinite I, loop, right. I can say i or equals i plus one. That just means whatever i is, add one to it and assign it back to i. Yeah, okay. That's... So if oh, if I run it again, I get one, two, three, four, five, five times, times the console okay. log. And the reason for that is if you, I can just say i here. And just to prove that I what I did, it's I is getting increased to one, then two, then three, then four, and then I <clears throat> after that it's five, and because five is not smaller than five, it stops. It stops. And basically after that we break out. So if I say console log, oh, what happened? Just getting a little dizzy. 
there you go. Again, mm. that afterwards. So okay. that's just as easy as that. But, well, so far, so easy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But like, that's a bit tedious and um, that's a lot of lines still, I feel like. And yeah, um, a good, an easy way to make this simpler is by using a for loop. So for loop just works the same way. Okay. Uh, we can say, for example, instead of hello world, let's say hi there. But a for loop in here between the parentheses uh, looks a bit different. Mm -hmm. So everything that's happening here and here and here, we put that inside of those parentheses. So we can say let i equals zero and i is smaller than five and i equals i plus one. So let's mm -hmm. comment that out. And then I get five times high there. So it's just a bit smaller, a bit cleaner. It just uh, removes a lot of the clutter and puts it in here. Okay. And um, so why not always use that? That's uh, exactly what people are doing. Like okay. <laughs> in most of the code, you wouldn't see a while loop. Mm -hmm. That's like something that's very rare. And most people would actually always use. And me, myself, I don't know when I used the while loop the last time. It's just, um, I just told you about it because you still have to know about it because you never know when you walk across one, come across one. And um, yeah, it's, I think, a good way to okay, explain the concept, right? So there would be no reason for you coming to your mind right now when to use a while loop instead of a for loop? Is there anything? Mm, not really, not no. Not really, okay. Not on the top of my mind, yeah. So I want to next talk about a bit of a shorthand, like this was a shorthand. So this is still a bit annoying, like you could write that shorter. And the way we do it is just by going I++. plus plus. Oh, okay. It's just meaning you... It just means I just plus add one. another one yeah. and another one. Okay. Could I write I plus two and then just have two? No, nope. that's two? what you would have to do there is then actually go I plus two. But okay. because we, there's so many cases where you just want to Im increase I by one, mm -hmm. like we're doing here, it's uh, just a shorthand for that. And that's like something that exists in every programming language I know. Oh, okay. It's like everywhere that's not, JavaScript or TypeScript specific, that's something that every single programming language has. And um, yeah, Marketing Rock says hello there. Hello, Marketing. And um, sorry. <laughs> and that's okay. Yeah, there's also this basically does the same thing. Mm -hmm. So basically, or, or is there a difference? There is a bit of a difference that I'm going to come up. So in something like a for loop, there's not really a difference. So mm -hmm. it just comes down to taste. But you oh, have to be careful okay. if you use it in a different place. So for example, let's say I have my num1. And let's remove that for a second. And it's equal to 5, for example. Mm -hmm. And then I have my, if I say num2 equals num1 mm -hmm. and I print those so I'm first saying num1 and then I'm saying num2 oh sorry if I run this I just get 5 and 5 yeah but if I say num plus plus what do you expect is the output uh, five and six. Yeah. Try it. So the difference here is... Six uh, and six, okay. That if you put the plus plus at the end and I run it again, you would expect it to be six and five. Yeah. Uh, six and six again, sorry. 
But what actually happens is that it's six and five. And the reason for that is that this increases the value of num one instantly. Mm -hmm. So I, this is equal to six. Yeah, gotcha. And if I say num one plus plus, then it's still equal to five. And num one is only equal to six in the next line. So basically here. And that's something that can be a bit confusing and that can... Okay, but why? Oh, okay. So uh, num two gets assigned to the number five. Then num one is increased by one. Exactly. So that's, that's why, why we have six afterwards. Five. Okay, gotcha. That's okay, why okay. the plus plus is afterwards. Got, uh, yeah. That's what, how you can kind of memorize it. So if I assign it and I do <clears> the plus plus before, then it means the increasing is happening before I assign it. Gotcha. If it's afterwards, then the increasing happens after I assign it here. Mm -hmm. So that's just something to uh, okay to keep your eye on, and uh, yeah, that's. Just Keeping something I wanted to talk on. about. And also, another thing is, instead mm -hmm. of, because at some point maybe you want to, sorry, you want to decrease decrease it. So instead of it's assigning a 5 to this, you maybe want to assign a 4 to this and decrease num1. So a minus minus instead of a plus plus mm -hmm. decreases it. And the same goes for this. Uh, sorry. So this is going to be four and five. It's just the other way around. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. So that's like the better way to write loops is just this way, basically. Mm -hmm. To use this. Okay. Just for basics, when would you... Okay. Wait. When would you use a for loop? Uh, a for loop has a lot of um, different <clears throat> different um, things, uh, different use cases. Sorry, yeah, I was and, looking for uh, this word too. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, like one of the use cases is, of course, if you want to do something that you want to do again and again. Mm -hmm. Like for example, if you want to log to the console hi there five hundred times. You would use this, or yeah, okay. Go. And another one, like just for as an example, if you want to repeat it a lot of times, mm -hmm. another different um, reason to use it is to loop over, for example, an array, which is something that we will look at next. Mm -hmm. So arrays are um, like a, a structure that's used. It's also not um, not just TypeScript, but Pretty much everything, every programming language uses arrays, so that's always something that's good to know. And um, yeah, those are maybe a bit complicated to wrap your head around as well. But um, oh, great! I love them already. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Maybe you, you're you're natural, and you'll get them right away. What do you mean, maybe? <laughs> Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So these are loops. Are these the only loops? For in the while loop, or are there those other? are pretty much the only ones that are being used? So, there's like different variations to for loops, for example. There are do while loops, but those are like especially the do while loops are never being used. Like, I've never ever seen that. Okay, and um, the variations of for loops they're a bit out of scope for today, yeah. Sure. So, maybe we'll look at those uh, another day. Another day, okay, and, great, um, easy, yeah. Bye okay, everyone. thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you learned a lot about loops today, and um, we'll see you next time. Yeah, until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.